So this particular um, unique form of inquiry or direct recognition, gradual unfolding um, is starts with decentering or stepping out of the cloud or disidentifying with the small self or letting go of the thought-based small mind. But once we let go or surrender, the unique thing is we don't hang out in the not knowing and the don't know or the deconstruction too long. We go immediately to the solution of the not knowing that knows, of the heart mind that has love and wisdom. So that that gap is where we often get scared back to the mind or or the research shows that like 30 percent of people who do a first five-day retreat will have a negative experience because they deconstruct the ego and the and then they get flooded by unconscious material because there's no new operating system you deconstruct the old you so you got to find what is the upgrade? So that, that's the heart mind or the open hearted awareness or the uh, ground of being. So that's what we'll, we'll move from this small center to the new centerless center. And um, the unique thing about this method is that you don't use attention or noticing ability or focusing or will or effort that literally when I ask you, can you please unhook your awareness from thought or from this small self, have it step back and drop down and know your jaw from within, know your throat from within your throat, go below your emotional heart, and into your heart mind that I'm not asking you the doer or you the ego or you the personality. I'm not talking to you the will or you the attention. I'm actually asking you the already awake being, the awake awareness itself. Hello, I see you behind who you think you are. Would you please do this, which you don't even know that you can do. So the awakeness that you are is not just a passive state. It's an active, alive dimension of your being. So this kind of gives you an immediate feeling that you're not looking down to your heart center from your attentional small mind and you're not going down and then checking back to see if you know that you literally are experiencing your body directly from within by having this local knowing uh, return home, yeah? So I'll just say one thing about the heart space, um, heart mind, um, so when the first um, researchers went to Tibet, to um, uh, Herbert Benson went to study, and he was he studied he he had a a three year re Tibetan retreat group say that they would do it, uh, would measure their meditation. So, but when he got up there in front of them, he took this kind of uh, bathing cap with those electrodes on it. He said, "And here's what we're going to do: we're going to measure your meditation like this." And all the young monks just started laughing. And he said, and they were like, you know, the head monk was like, now be nice, you know, be respectful. So he said, now we're going to measure your meditation. They were like, and they just started breaking out. And I said, what, what's so funny? He said, well, we do this direct realization and our experience is that it's vast and here that the experience is everywhere and here, not here, that this is almost gone. Uh, so, so this is the, the feeling of where meditation goes 
it goes to a new uh, location, almost like your head drops in your heart and your heart drops into your Dantian and you feel grounded. Um, but just to say that uh, we're not going to your emotional heart. It's not your physical heart. It's not your heart chakra. And it's not your, um, your belly brain, your, your heart, heart of your belly, that this is the heart mind and it touches all of those. But many people who drop into the heart area will go to the emotional heart or they'll go deeper to the belly where there's kind of shame based, I'm not worthy. But what we're doing is we're establishing heart mind that then is, that's what's capable of going to the grief or the shame or the physical. So we're going behind and below the emotional heart to this heart mind. So that's just a little, little mapping because there's a lot of, uh, you can get caught in, you know, there's good things to be done in this area, but unless you have the resource of the boundless heart that can be with the grief, it'll still be, uh, can get you caught and identified and not resolve or unburden. So just starting with this feeling of identification or attachment, or just a simple location of where you're looking from or where you're listening from, kind of feel like, okay, here I go, I'm about to do something. Who's gonna do it? I don't know, I think I'm gonna do it. No, you can't do it. Okay, I won't do it. Who's gonna do it? Just feel that activity. And then feel somehow as if awareness, which is what thought is made of, can simply unhook and step back. Just notice what it's like to be aware of the space from the space. And then feel as if awareness can move itself and drop to be aware of your smile and your jaw from your smile and your jaw. And then feel as if awareness can feel down and be aware of your throat from within your throat. So just feeling the space, the effervescent aliveness, the heat, movement, stillness. Just notice that you're not stretching attention down and that you don't have to look up to know directly, to know and feel from within. And then feel as if awareness can drop below your neck into your upper body. And then to feel as if awareness can go behind and below your emotional heart until it finds a kind of heart space that touches, but is kind of a doorway. And just let your awareness go deep within, into the atoms. And just being aware of your heart mind from your heart mind. Just notice a kind of intimacy and freedom. So just not looking to thought to know, but receiving from a bigger field of interconnected 
heart. Like a field of wisdom, field of, it's in front of you, to the sides of you, and particularly behind you as your resource with the source, dropping deeper within, and for some it'll open up out, for others it'll just go to the living stream or the vast microcosm becomes the macrocosm. So just notice if you connect to this ground of being as well, kind of safety and okayness. It's equally inside and out. You just feel as if you're almost looking out of the eyes of the heart, which is a connected feeling Almost like you're arising, your body is arising in the heart consciousness, the love, loving awareness. And then just notice both equally outside and within that there's a kind of support and embracing of any emotions, feelings, thoughts, parts of you that arise without needing to push any away or needing to focus on just one yet, just stay with that feeling of the compassion itself so that you're the awareness, that you're aware of your body and your parts, something greater than you, and so also essentially who you are without collapsing into any small part that may have different feelings or judgments. Let the whole show, the whole playground, be included and welcomed. So what do you notice when you're Resting in your heart mind and and you can be aware of your emotional heart or your belly heart, your belly mind or your, but to feel this kind of deeper surrender that doesn't have to go up to thought to know, so you almost remain at home in your heart and just use Wi Fi, have Wi Fi come down from the files in the office of your head. And then connect to this greater wisdom. So, what would you say if you were to speak? So one of the keys here is is this is this a meditation state or an emotional state or is this more essentially who I am to which other states are now welcome to this greater capacity of healing and being. <clears throat> 